In the 1950s and 60s, viewers were captivated by the rugged figure of Clint Walker in the Western series Cheyenne. Yet, behind the screen, the actor's life was far from easy. Tragedy struck multiple times, casting a shadow over his success. Despite these hardships, Walker left an indelible mark on television, forming a deep bond with fans through his unforgettable performances. His legacy continues to resonate today, underscoring the challenges he faced and the triumphs he achieved in his career. Delve into the story of this resilient individual who touched the hearts of many with his portrayal of the iconic cowboy Cheyenne. Born on May 30, 1927, in Hartford, Illinois, Clint Walker started life in a humble household with Czech roots. Growing up, he had the company of a twin sibling, which added joy to his early years. However, the actor's life away from the camera would later be marked by several hardships, including health issues and tragic accidents, as revealed by his children years after his passing. Despite these challenges, Walker left an indelible mark on the industry, becoming synonymous with rugged masculinity and charm. His career took flight in the 50s when he snagged the lead role in the popular Western series Cheyenne. This classic portrayed Walker as a strong, silent type who could tame the Wild West, mirroring his real-life persona to some extent. Before becoming a famous actor, Clint Walker embarked on a variety of jobs and educational pursuits that shaped his future career. Leaving traditional education behind, he found work in a local factory, honing his manual skills and learning the value of hard labor. Later, he shifted his focus to riverboats, where he gained experience navigating the waterways and developed a deep appreciation for maritime culture. At just 17 years old, Walker decided to join the United States Merchant Marine. This decision would expose him to exciting adventures and teach him essential life skills. Serving aboard cargo ships traveling across oceans, he learned seamanship, navigation, and teamwork, all crucial abilities for any sailor. These experiences also instilled discipline, responsibility, and resilience, qualities that would serve him well throughout his acting career. Throughout these early years, Walker continued to pursue personal growth opportunities while working various jobs. His time spent in factories, on riverboats, and in the Merchant Marine provided him with a wealth of knowledge and practical expertise that would ultimately prove invaluable when he eventually stepped into the spotlight as a leading man. Despite never completing formal education, Walker's determination, grit, and resourcefulness allowed him to carve out a successful niche for himself, both in the maritime industry and Hollywood. After serving in the Merchant Marine, Clint Walker embarked on a journey that took him across the United States. He found work in various industries, demonstrating his ability to adapt to different situations. One of his early jobs was as a doorman at the famous Sands Hotel in Las Vegas. Known for its luxurious accommodations and top-notch entertainment, the Sands attracted celebrities and high rollers from around the world. As a doorman, Walker would have greeted guests, hailed taxis, and ensured the smooth flow of people entering and leaving the hotel. This job required a certain level of polish and professionalism, which the actor undoubtedly brought to the table. Working at the Sands exposed him to the glitz and glamour of show business, perhaps sparking his interest in pursuing a career in front of the camera. His time in Las Vegas also gave him valuable insights into human nature and the art of customer service, skills that would serve him well in his future endeavors. In the early 1950s, the outbreak of the Korean War had far-reaching effects on many lives, including that of a young man named Norman Eugene Walker. Driven by a sense of duty, Walker decided to rejoin the Merchant Marine, lending his skills to the ongoing military effort. Little did he know that this decision would set him on a path towards a successful acting career and a significant change in his personal identity. During his time serving in the Korean War, Walker's natural charisma and strong screen presence were noticed by none other than prominent talent agent Henry Wilson. Recognizing Walker's potential, Wilson took the young Marine under his wing and encouraged him to pursue a career in Hollywood. With Wilson's guidance, Walker made the decision to adopt a new stage name, one that would become synonymous with rugged masculinity and on-screen charm Clint Walker. As Clint Walker, the actor began his journey through the golden age of television and cinema, leaving an indelible mark on both industries. His chiseled features and imposing physique quickly captured audiences' attention, earning him lead roles in various productions and solidifying his status as a rising star. However, it was his work alongside some of Hollywood's most esteemed actors and directors that truly catapulted him into stardom and allowed him to etch his name into the annals of cinematic history. 
Henry Wilson, a talent agent who made a name for himself by discovering and shaping the careers of many iconic actors, recognized the raw potential in a young man named Clint Walker. With his rugged good looks and natural charm, Walker was soon renamed Jet Norman by Wilson, who believed the new name would bring better luck in the entertainment industry. Under his new identity, Jet Norman began his journey into the world of acting. He quickly proved himself to be a talented performer, taking on a wide range of roles that allowed him to showcase his versatility and depth as an actor. From dramatic leading men to comedic supporting parts, Jet Norman brought a unique energy and intensity to every performance. Despite the success he found under his new name, Jet Norman never forgot his roots. As his fame grew, he remained humble and grounded, always remembering where he came from and the people who had helped him along the way. His genuine warmth and kindness earned him many loyal fans who appreciated his authenticity and down-to-earth personality. Over time, Jet Norman became known for his ability to fully inhabit any character he played, bringing them to life with nuance and subtlety. Audiences were drawn to his magnetic presence and captivated by his performances, which resonated deeply with people from all walks of life. Whether he was playing a tough-as-nails cowboy or a charming rogue, Jet Norman always delivered a memorable and engaging performance. Years later, after establishing himself as one of Hollywood's most respected and beloved actors, Jet Norman revealed his true identity as Clint Walker. Despite the change in name, he remained the same humble and hardworking individual, dedicated to his craft and committed to delivering the best possible performances in every project he took on. To this day, Clint Walker remains a cherished figure in the world of cinema, remembered for his countless contributions to this classic art form. In the late 1950s, the actor Clint Walker secured the coveted lead role in the television series Cheyenne, bringing to life the character of Cheyenne Body. This drifting cowboy hero found himself traversing the complex terrain of the post-American Civil War era. During its impressive run, Cheyenne captured audiences' hearts for eight successful seasons. The show owed much of its success to the compelling stories it told through quality writing and exceptional performances, led by none other than Walker himself. His commanding presence and authenticity brought depth to Cheyenne Body, making him a relatable figure despite his solitary existence. Over time, fans grew increasingly invested in watching how he would navigate various challenges while striving to uphold his personal values amidst societal change. As one delves deeper into this classic series, it becomes evident just how significantly Cheyenne contributed to popular culture during its heyday. With each episode unfolding like a carefully crafted narrative tapestry, viewers were treated to engaging dialogues and thoughtfully designed settings. These elements work together seamlessly, immersing audiences in tales of adventure set against a backdrop of historical transformation. Moreover, the show served as a launchpad for Walker's career, solidifying his status as a respected figure within the entertainment industry. As people continued tuning in week after week, they couldn't help but become enthralled by both the allure of the Wild West and the quiet strength embodied by the man playing their favorite wanderer. And so, underpinned by strong storytelling and powerful acting, Cheyenne left an indelible mark on television history, a testament to the timeless appeal of good old-fashioned Western drama. In the early years of his career, the actor Clint Walker was known not just for his work on screen, but also for his talent as a singer. His deep, resonant baritone voice garnered attention, leading Warner Brothers to release an album featuring his musical abilities. This move aimed to highlight a different side of the talented star, further endearing him to his growing fan base. The television show Cheyenne often featured Walker's singing voice, contributing to its popularity among viewers who appreciated both his acting skills and his melodious tunes. As the program gained traction, Warner Brothers began planning a feature film centered around the story of Sam Houston. Given Walker's success on Cheyenne and his appealing vocal performances, it seemed like a natural fit to cast him in the lead role. However, fate had other plans, and the movie was ultimately never made. Despite these setbacks, fans continued to cherish the actor's contributions to the entertainment industry through his iconic roles in various films and TV shows. To this day, the legacy of Clint Walker remains etched in the memories of those who enjoyed watching his timeless performances unfold on their screens. Clint Walker, the actor famous for his work in Western films, has often shared his enjoyment for the genre. He appreciates the opportunity to spend time outdoors and engage in physically demanding activities. According to Walker, these experiences have been fulfilling 
and align perfectly with his personal interests. One notable example of his Western roles was in the movie Fort Dobbs. This film received praise from esteemed critic Howard Thompson, who described Walker as the epitome of the finest looking Western hero. Despite receiving positive reviews, however, the box office earnings for Fort Dobbs remained modest. The understated success of the movie didn't detract from its quality or impact on audiences. In fact, it serves as evidence of how deeply ingrained Western stories are in popular culture. Even if a particular story doesn't generate significant revenue, it can still resonate with viewers and contribute to the rich tapestry of cinema. As we reflect upon this classic film, one cannot help but appreciate the timeless appeal of Western tales. Whether set against vast landscapes or inside bustling frontier towns, they transport us back in time and immerse us in captivating narratives. And through those stories, actors like Clint Walker solidify their place in cinematic history. After gaining fame as Cheyenne Body in the popular TV series Cheyenne, actor Clint Walker continued to make his mark in westerns. One notable role was in the 1959 film Yellowstone Kelly. This picture told the story of Luther Yellowstone Kelly, a frontiersman who becomes a guide for the U.S. Cavalry. Set against the beautiful yet unforgiving landscape of the American West, Walker shone as the lead, demonstrating his skill and ease in the Western genre. Following Yellowstone Kelly, Walker took on another significant part alongside renowned actor Roger Moore in Gold of the Seven Saints. In this movie, two cowboys come across stolen gold and must protect it from claim jumpers while also avoiding hostile Native Americans. Working together, these two leading men delivered captivating performances that left audiences wanting more. Interestingly enough, certain episodes of Cheyenne gained renewed life when they were edited and distributed theatrically. For example, one episode turned into the film Showdown at Boot Hill, offering fans even more opportunities to enjoy their favorite stoic cowboy hero. Another episode became War Arrow, featuring Walker as a half-Comanche Indian scout helping defend settlers from attack. These adaptations allowed viewers to experience this classic series in a whole new way, larger than life on the big screen. After becoming a household name through Cheyenne, the actor, Clint Walker, started making guest appearances in other Warner Brothers productions. One of these shows was 77 Sunset Strip, where he showed his ability to fit into different genres and settings. The actor also demonstrated his range by appearing in Kraft Suspense Theater. This anthology series featured standalone episodes with diverse themes, allowing him to take on contrasting roles and prove his adaptability as an artist. Moreover, the actor ventured beyond dramas and proved his comedic chops in Send Me No Flowers alongside stars like Doris Day and Rock Hudson. In this film, he played against type, exhibiting impeccable timing and delivery, further solidifying his reputation as a multi-talented performer. These varied performances serve as testaments to Clint Walker's versatility, proving that he could excel in any role offered to him. His work outside of Cheyenne helped establish him as more than just a Western star but rather a classic Hollywood leading man capable of handling whatever came his way. Whether it was gritty detective stories or lighthearted romantic comedies, the actor left an indelible mark on every project he touched. In 1965, Frank Sinatra took notice of Clint Walker's commanding presence and rugged charm, casting him in the war-themed drama None But the Brave. This marked a significant milestone for the actor, as it was none other than Sinatra himself who directed this classic film. Through his role in None But the Brave, Walker demonstrated his ability to excel in more serious and intense storylines, further solidifying his standing in Hollywood. The following year, in 1966, the actor displayed his versatility by gracing the small screen with his appearance on The Lucy Show. Starring alongside Lucille Ball, one of the most celebrated comedians of all time, Walker proved that he could hold his own in lighter settings, just as effectively as he did in dramatic ones. His ease in adapting to different formats, whether it be the silver screen or the intimate setting of television, highlighted Walker's range as a performer and reinforced his status as a bankable star. In the late 1960s, the actor Clint Walker took on two distinct roles that highlighted his versatility and adventurous spirit. First, he starred in Paramount's The Night of the Grizzly, where he demonstrated his physical prowess and ability to command the screen. Set against the backdrop of the American West, the film featured Walker as a rugged mountain man who must protect his family from a vicious grizzly bear. To prepare for the role, Walker reportedly undertook extensive training to accurately portray his character's strength and survival skills. 
Following the success of The Night of the Grizzly, Walker surprised audiences by taking on a completely different type of project. He starred in the family adventure movie Maya, which was filmed on location in India. This decision showed his willingness to embrace diverse challenges and broaden his horizons as an actor. In Maya, Walker played a former British soldier who becomes stranded in a remote jungle region and forms a bond with a young girl named Maya. Together, they navigate treacherous terrain and encounter exotic wildlife while trying to find their way home. Throughout both films, Walker proved himself to be more than just an action hero. His performances were marked by sensitivity and depth, revealing a side of his talent that may have gone unnoticed by some. By tackling these varied roles, the actor solidified his place as a respected figure in the entertainment industry and left behind a legacy of memorable performances in classic films. In 1967, the actor Clint Walker took on the role of Samson Posey in the war film The Dirty Dozen. This movie became a major success, representing a pinnacle achievement for Walker in the film industry. The story revolves around 12 convicts chosen for a dangerous mission behind enemy lines during World War II. As Posey, Walker delivered a powerful performance, contributing significantly to the overall impact of this classic. After the triumph of The Dirty Dozen, Walker decided to return to his roots by appearing in more Western films. One notable example is More Dead Than Alive, where he played a gunslinger attempting to start anew after being released from prison. Through this character, audiences saw a different side of Walker, one marked by introspection and redemption. By taking on complex roles like these, the actor successfully expanded upon his established on-screen persona. Clint Walker, celebrated by the New York Times for his fine-looking appearance and winning taciturn earnestness, made a significant impact in the genre of comic westerns. Although he was often cast in tough guy roles due to his imposing physique, Walker also demonstrated a natural talent for comedy. One notable example is his performance in Sam Whiskey, where he starred alongside Burt Reynolds and Angie Dickinson. In this film, Walker played a laid-back character who found himself caught up in a wild adventure involving stolen gold. His understated delivery provided a perfect counterpoint to Reynolds' more exuberant style, resulting in a memorable comedic dynamic. Walker further displayed his comedic chops in The Great Bank Robbery. This witty western featured multiple storylines revolving around various groups planning elaborate bank heists. As one of the key players, Walker brought both strength and levity to his role, contributing significantly to the overall success of the ensemble piece. Throughout these films, it became clear that Walker could hold his own against seasoned comedians while maintaining the charisma that had initially gained him fame. These performances marked a departure from his usual action-oriented parts, but proved just how versatile an actor he truly was. While some may remember Clint Walker best for his dramatic work, others will always cherish these glimpses into his lighter side. In the late 1960s, Clint Walker joined the ensemble cast of The Finks, a crime comedy series that added to his already eclectic filmography. This classic actor had established himself as a reliable leading man in various genres, from westerns like Cheyenne to dramas such as None But the Brave. His role in The Finks further solidified his status as a versatile performer. During this time, the actor also began appearing in television pilots presented as made-for-TV movies. These appearances reflected his continuous presence on the small screen, which spanned over two decades. One notable example is the pilot episode of Sam Cade, where he played the titular character. Although the series wasn't picked up, it remains a testament to the actor's unwavering popularity during that era. Another TV movie that featured the actor was Hard Case, based on the novel by Brian Garfield. Despite its failure to secure a spot on primetime television, it showcases the actor's ability to adapt to different roles outside his usual cowboy persona. With each project, he proved his dedication to delivering quality performances worthy of recognition. In 1971, a skiing accident couldn't hold back actor Clint Walker. While enjoying a day at Mammoth Mountain, he suffered severe injuries. But true to form, Walker demonstrated resilience and determination in his recovery. This event showed fans a different side of their beloved star, one of strength and perseverance. That same year, we saw another facet of Walker's career unfold. He lent support to fellow actor Telly Savalas in the biopic Pancho Villa. His role was significant because it highlighted his willingness to explore diverse genres outside of his usual Western typecast. In Pancho Villa, Walker added depth to the narrative, playing alongside Savalas who portrayed the infamous Mexican revolutionary leader. 
through these experiences, Clint Walker proved himself more than just a leading man known for his roles in popular Western films and television series like Cheyenne. He became a symbol of tenacity and adaptability, leaving an indelible mark on both real life and real stories. Even when faced with personal challenges or professional shifts, the actor stood firm, showing us all what it means to face adversity with unwavering spirit. In 1974, the actor Clint Walker took on a leading role in the television series Kodiak. This show featured Walker as an Alaskan patrolman, allowing him to demonstrate his skills in a dramatic setting. Although Kodiak was a short-lived series, it contributed to maintaining the actor's visibility in the television industry during that time. That same year, Clint Walker also starred in the cult film Killdozer, which has since added to his enduring presence in popular culture. Despite being a less known figure among younger generations today, those who grew up watching Kodiak and Killdozer continue to appreciate this classic actor's contributions to the entertainment landscape. The character Walker played in Killdozer was particularly memorable. He portrayed a construction worker named Jacob Fine, who becomes trapped in a bulldozer possessed by an alien entity. Through this unique storyline, the actor showed off both his acting chops and ability to handle action sequences, making Killdozer a standout film in its genre. To this day, fans of Clint Walker still enjoy going back to watch these two classics, appreciating how they capture different aspects of the actor's talent. Whether it's through his portrayal of a tough Alaskan law enforcement officer in Kodiak or a resourceful construction worker fighting against supernatural forces in Killdozer, Walker continues to captivate audiences with his performances. Furthermore, the actor starred in the thriller Scream of the Wolf, where he captivated audiences with his strong performance. Following this, he took on a lead role in Baker's Hawk, a film that beautifully portrayed life in the American West, showcasing his ability to connect with viewers through storytelling. Later, he ventured into the horror genre with a supporting role in the made-for-TV film Snow Beast, which added an element of suspense to his body of work. Each of these roles highlighted his ability to engage and entertain a diverse audience, making his filmography rich and varied. In the late 1970s, Clint Walker, already an established figure in Western films, took on two diverse roles that highlighted his versatility as an actor. First, he starred alongside screen legend Charles Bronson in The White Buffalo, a unique take on the traditional Western genre. This film explored mythical aspects of the American frontier, delving into themes of redemption and man's relationship with nature. As Wild Bill Hickok, Walker brought depth to a character often reduced to stereotypes, contributing to the movie's critical acclaim. Following The White Buffalo, Walker ventured north to Canada for another leading role in Deadly Harvest. Here, he adapted to a different cultural setting, demonstrating his ability to transcend geographical boundaries. Set against the backdrop of grain shortages and corruption, this thriller allowed Walker to flex his acting muscles outside the confines of the Western genre. His performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, further solidifying his status as a multi-talented actor capable of excelling in various cinematic landscapes. Renowned actor Clint Walker made his mark in the world of television and Western films. Among his notable roles was his appearance in the acclaimed miniseries Centennial. This show took viewers on a journey through the history of the American West, providing an engaging look into the past. Walker's performance contributed significantly to the series' success. The actor also delved into other genres beyond westerns. For instance, he starred in the 1979 adventure drama film Mysterious Island of Beautiful Women, which offered thrilling action alongside emotional depth. Once again, Walker demonstrated his versatility by excelling in various roles throughout his career. One significant collaboration occurred when Walker teamed up with renowned Western author Kirby Jonas. Their partnership resulted in the creation of the 2003 Western novel titled Yaki Gold. Together, they crafted an intriguing tale set against the backdrop of America's westward expansion, a testament to their combined talents and shared passion for storytelling. This classic actor has left an indelible impact on both small and big screens over the years, making him a beloved figure among fans of Western cinema. Through memorable performances and fruitful collaborations like those mentioned above, Clint Walker continues to resonate within the annals of Hollywood history. His work remains cherished by generations who appreciate quality acting and captivating narratives. And so, even today, we can still step into the vibrant landscapes portrayed by this accomplished artist, continuing to explore and enjoy the many stories he brought to life. Moreover, Yaki Gold, 
Published with ISBN 97 trillion, 818 billion, 914 million, 230,826, showcased the actor's strong bond with the Western genre. This work reflected his passion and dedication to the stories and characters that shaped his career. In recognition of his achievements, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, prominently located at 1505 Vine Street. This honor celebrated his influential role in film and television, marking a significant milestone in his journey. Additionally, in 2004, he was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, further solidifying his status in the Western film community. The accolades highlight his lasting connection to the genre and his memorable performances that continue to resonate with audiences. Moreover, in 1997, the actor received the Golden Boot Award, which highlighted his important role in Western cinema. This recognition elevated his status among fans and fellow actors alike. Later, in 2017, he was celebrated with an inlaid Bronze Star medallion on the Texas Trail of Fame, further honoring his contributions to the genre. On a personal note, the actor experienced three significant marriages, each lasting around 20 years. These relationships shaped his life outside of his career, providing stability and companionship as he navigated the ups and downs of fame. In 1948, the promising actor Clint Walker exchanged wedding vows with Verna Garber, marking the start of their marital journey. The couple was blessed with a child, a baby girl they named Valerie, who entered their lives in 1950. As young parents, they nurtured and supported Valerie, watching her grow up to become a woman of great accomplishment. Valerie, like her father, reflected the pioneering spirit that ran deep in the Walker family. She chose a career path that broke barriers and set examples for many. Valerie became one of the early female airline pilots during a time when women were just starting to make their marks in male-dominated fields. Her achievement served as a testament to the strong character she inherited from both her parents. Throughout his life, Clint Walker remained devoted to his family, cherishing the moments spent with them. His love and pride for his daughter never wavered, especially seeing her follow in his footsteps by becoming a trailblazer in her own right. Even after his divorce from Verna in 1968, he continued to maintain a close relationship with Valerie, marveling at her achievements in the aviation industry. Clint Walker, the actor known for his roles in Western films and television shows, has made specific choices when it comes to his diet and political views. Regarding his dining habits, Walker describes himself as a pescetarian. This means he avoids eating beef, but includes chicken and salmon in his meals. By choosing this type of diet, Walker joins a growing group of people who have ethical concerns about consuming red meat. When it comes to politics, Clint Walker publicly expressed his support for Barry Goldwater during the 1964 U.S. presidential election. His endorsement reflects the actor's deeply held conservative values. As someone who appreciates individual freedom and self-reliance, which are hallmarks of Western movies where Walker often stars, supporting a candidate like Goldwater makes sense for him. Indeed, these two aspects, personal preferences around food consumption and political beliefs, offer insight into understanding the man behind the iconic cowboy image better. Despite being associated primarily with rugged masculinity and toughness common in Western cinema, we find out here that he also cares deeply about animal welfare while holding steadfast to his core principles. In May 1971, a terrifying incident occurred in the life of Clint Walker, the beloved actor known for his work in Cheyenne. While skiing, he suffered a severe accident that left him in a critical condition. His injuries were so extensive that medical professionals prematurely declared his death. However, fate had other plans for this iconic figure. A vigilant doctor noticed faint signs of life and immediately took action, saving Walker from the brink of death. This brush with mortality was undoubtedly a harrowing experience for both the actor and his fans. Fast forward to May 21, 2018 four decades later. Despite having cheated death once, Walker could not escape it forever. He sadly passed away at the age of 90, just nine days shy of what would have been his 91st birthday. According to reports, the cause of death was congestive heart failure. For those who cherished this classic Hollywood star, his departure marked the end of an era. Nevertheless, his legacy continues to resonate among movie enthusiasts worldwide. Rest assured, we will always remember the impact this remarkable man made in the entertainment industry. Clint Walker, the actor known for his towering presence and rugged charm, has left behind a rich body of work in Hollywood. 
His career spanned over four decades, during which he became a beloved figure in Western films and television shows. However, it is not just his professional achievements that make him stand out. Walker's resilience and strength also played a significant role in shaping his image. One incident that highlighted his indomitable spirit was a skiing accident in 1971. While vacationing with friends, the actor suffered a severe injury when he collided with a tree while skiing down a mountain. The impact crushed several vertebrae in his neck, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down. But true to form, Walker refused to let the accident defeat him. Through sheer determination and hard work, he managed to regain mobility and even returned to acting two years later. This unyielding spirit is undoubtedly one of the reasons why Walker's legacy continues to resonate today. Long after his retirement from acting, fans still remember him fondly for his iconic roles in classics like Cheyenne and The Dirty Dozen. Moreover, his triumph over adversity serves as an inspiration to many, reminding us all that we can overcome our challenges if we remain steadfast and persistent. Despite being confined to a wheelchair, Walker never lost sight of what mattered most, living life on his terms. He continued to pursue his passions, including music and writing, and remained active in various charities until his passing in 2018. In doing so, he demonstrated that physical limitations do not define who we are or limit our potential. To this day, Walker's legacy lives on through his contributions to entertainment and his survival from the skiing accident, showcasing his enduring spirit. Indeed, the actor's story reminds us that sometimes, it's not just what we achieve, but how we respond to setbacks that truly defines our